Hello everybody, how are you? Hello, okay, here we are. We are wondering how things work. How does it work? That is the question. Okay, so to answer those questions, we're gonna study tools and machines. Okay, so let's find out about what is a tool. Okay, tools are things that help us do our work. Some tools you know already. Yes, the scissors they use in class, the broom you maybe have at home, the stapler, the mop, and a leather. Okay, these tools, all tools in general, make work easier. Easier, okay? It's much more easier to use a tool. Okay, let's have a look at this example. Okay, do you know who this is? Yes, this is Cinderella and she's cleaning the floor, yes? And what is she using? She using she's using a piece of cloth and her hands a little bit of water, uh maybe a little bit of uh soap and this bucket. But look at see look at her. She is on her knees and look at the back. She's suffering. This is no fun, yes? No no no. This is more difficult than this other picture. This person is cleaning also the floor, but he is using a mop. He's using a tool. This mop is a tool. With a long stick, you don't have to go on your knees. Yes, you don't have to suffer back pain or uh, or sore knees. Okay, this tool make the work of cleaning the floor easier. Okay, so before the tool, it is more difficult, more painful, and with the tool, it's easier and less painful. Yes, cool. So this is why we use tools. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> okay, so another question that we could ask ourselves is what tools do different prof professions use? For example, who do you think would use a spoon or a frying pan? Do you think a teacher needs spoon frying pan to teach in class or maybe a firefighter uses a spoon or fire pan to put out fires now so who what profession uses spoons and fire pans easy the cook of course and the same question with the scissors who do you think uses scissors and his her work mm, many people but I have one in mind Yes, the hairdresser. The hairdresser cuts your hair with scissors. Excellent. Oh, look at this tool. This tool is called plier. Who do you think the plier? Uh, who do you think uses the pliers in his her work? Hmm. I have another m person in mind. Yes, the mechanic. Mechanic uses lots of tools. They use lots of tools like the pliers, screwdrivers, yes. And what are these? What is this? The last tool we have in here. This is a hose. Hose uh is being used by many people but some in their work as a profession. Okay, I have in mind the gardener, yes, a gardener and another one very important when there are fires, yes the firefighter look at this this picture he's the firefighter with the hose yes he's putting out fires with the water excellent and another question yes the same question more more professions sorry what tools do different professions use for example the doctor what tool do you think a doctor uses um mm -hmm. Yes, for example, a thermometer to measure your temperature. Excellent. 
What do you think a teacher uses um, in the daily basis? In the teaching? Mm, many tools like the oops, stapler, yes. And what about the electrician? Oh, the electrician with all these screws that he has to p pull out and yes, pull in. Yes, of course, the screwdriver, the screwdriver. And the cleaner, the cleaner can use is can use many, many, many uh, tools. But I'm thinking of the mop. Yes, mop. And she has in her hands a broom. Remember the difference between a broom and a mop? Yes. Okay. The mop uses uh, water. Yes, and soap to clean the floor. Okay, so can you think more professions that uses the leather example? Yes, can a teacher or oh, does a teacher sorry does a teacher use the leather when they when they teach the teachers they teach with the leather in class? Mm, no, I don't think so. What about the cook? Does a cook need a leather to get to the every part of the kitchen? No, I don't think so. What about the these, the builder and the painter? Yes, the builder when is building a big tall wall has to get very very high. So they need, yes, the builders need some kind of ladder, yes. And the same thing with the painter when he's painting up high, eh, he needs or she needs a ladder. Excellent. Okay, so we've seen the tools. The next question, the big next question is what is a machine? Okay, well machines are things that help us do a work too, like the tools, but machines are more complex and use energy. Excellent. So this is a tool, yes, we've seen the leather and it's simple, oh simple leather, just two parts, yes, and this is another leather, as you can see, but it's inside a machine, fire engine, yes, and it's more complex because have you seen the many parts that this machine has? Oof, many, many parts, so it's more complex. And also, the leather works without energy, yes, you move the tool, you put it there, and it's working for you because you just need to use it without energy. But this machine, it doesn't work without energy. Can we move this big, big, big leather here with our hands? No, because it's so heavy, we need help from energy. And the energy that this machine uses is petrol, because it's a vehicle, yes? Okay, we'll see that in a minute. Look at this. Before the machine, people had to go to the river to wash the clothes with the bare hands so it was painful again on your knees look at the back it was painful on your hands it was painful on your back it was painful on your knees oh such a hard work no 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 before machines washing clothes was a nightmare but now look at this with the washing machine it's so easy you put the clothes inside you put the soap and then with the energy, the electricity, the machine washes the clothes. Excellent! And this is another example to show you how tools are simple and machines are more complex. Okay, here we have a scrubber. Scrubber is used to wash the dishes. When you finish eating, you put the plates and you wash uh, and you wash them with the scrubber okay this this is one option using a tool and look at the parts of this tool very simple two parts yes the st the strong and rough part and the soft part yes the sponge okay but look at this other way of washing the dishes this is a dishwasher is a machine it uses energy electricity and it, ha it can hold lots and lots and lots of plates 
and cutlery and things but look at the many parts woof many many parts and he has an engine is very complex okay so simple complex excellent tool machine okay so do you know uh, many machines have you seen many machines in your home yes we use machines every day like the simple machine uh, clock watch yes you have maybe you have one at home and maybe you come to school by car or by bus well those are machines too and the famous washing machine oh what should we do without it without it Oof. you know that very painful washing by hand no 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 thank you and look at this, this is a microwave. We can heat up the food in seconds. Excellent. And the last one here is a hair dryer. Yes. If you don't have a hair dryer, you have to spend time uh, drying your hair with a towel. Yes. But look, with the hair dryer and minutes, you, everything is easier with tools. Okay. Where do we find these machines? Oh, we find machines everywhere. Look at home, yes, the washing machine at home, school, a computer. If in the factory we find these robots that make things, in the farm we m might find these tractors or harvesters, and in hospitals too we find machines. Look, this round thing, huge thing, is a scanner. Eh? Yes scanner and he's in the hospital in the hospitals okay let's have a look at these yes those images those all of those are machines but we classify them we distinguish between means of transport and means of communication the telephone the radio the computer the mobile phones, the television, the television, all these five things, five machines, sorry, are means of communication. Yes, because we receive messages, we send and receive messages, yes, with them. Communication, we communicate, we talk, yes, we listen, excellent. These are the images, the airplane, the car, the bicycle, the helicopter, the ship and the train all of these are means of transport transportation, yes yes, transport means uh, go from one place to another yes, take you, take yourself or take things from one, one place to another place yes, to one city to another city to another country, uh, to one country, to another country, etc. Okay? Means of communications, means of spur. Okay. Also, we need to ask ourselves what machines do different professions use? For example, this big thing is a crane and is used by builders to build big buildings, yes, tall buildings. These are the machines that we've seen before. Is a <coughs> fire engine and the firefighters use these and who do you think uses the hair dryer professionally in their work of course the hairdresser oh look at this huge machine it's in the countryside do you see this is weed and this machine is helping to cut the plant and store the grain so this is used by the farmer and is a harvester farmer and look at this machine you know this machine oh yes of course you use it every week this is a computer and maybe the teachers or office offices office workers use this machine every day yes good so we mentioned before that the dishwasher used uh, electricity remember and also that the fire engine, the firefighters, they use fire engine and the fire engine uses petrol. 
Yes, so these are the main uh, types of energy. The petrol, yes, maybe you've seen your friend, your mother put petrol, yes, uh, on your on your cars, yes, in your cars. And the batteries, yes, maybe you have some toys that use uh, batteries. And of course, the electricity. This computer uses electricity, yes, and and lots and lots of uh, appliances at home like the washing machine, the dishwasher, the hair dryer all these uses the use of T. Machines use, uh, use different type of energy of course uh, what about these? this airplane mmm think what do you think? petrol, battery or electricity? Yes, of course, petrol. What about the mobile phones? Hmm. When you open a mobile phone, yeah, when you split the parts, you see inside a square thing. This is the battery. Yes, metallic rectangle thing, battery. And finally, what do you think the computer use? It uses. <laughs> yes, electricity, of course. Excellent. Look at this. We've seen, we say, we've said that the machines have many, many parts because they are complex. Yes, tools are simple. Mm, they have very few parts, and machines are complex. They have lots of parts. Okay, so this is an example. This is a computer. Yes, and it has many parts, like the screen. Yes, is the is like a television. Yes, you see the things. Uh, that happens inside the, the machine, inside the computer, thank you to the screen. This is the mouse, yeah, you move around, like I'm moving my finger now with the mouse. This is the keyboard, yes, you use the keyboard to type words, yes, and this is the bo the big box, yes, Is this is called the CPU and this is like the brain the brain of the computer okay computer things thanks uh, thank you to this big cpu all right i want to show you more parts uh, of different machines this is a washing machine and this is also a washing machine but these whatever everything you see here they are the the parts that are they are inside oh you don't see all these, but uh, they are inside the, the washing machine. Look, the engine, a lot of tubes, a lot of cables, yes, many, many parts. And also, if you see the back, if you look at the back of the fridge, this is the fridge, this is the back of the fridge, and it has many, many parts, a lot of cables, the engine, everything that makes the fridge work because it's a machine and it's a complex uh, thing yes it has many many parts okay so this is it we've seen tools and machines and we wanna say thank you to the tools and machines and the people who invented them because they make our work easy okay I'll see you soon bye bye